One of the best experiences in my classroom was when I was able to use technology to engage all learners in the learning process. This included those students we may call shy, who aren't the ones raising their hands answering questions, not the ones participating in class, or the ones who aren't always willing to offer an answer. And the reason for this could be a lot of different reasons. One, they could just be shy. And our reason is they could be unsure of themselves because they're wrong before and got made fun of. They may have a hearing issue, and I can attest to that personally. They could have a speech issue. Maybe they stutter. There are a lot of different reasons why a student may not be willing to offer answers or discussions in classrooms. And we have to be able to engage all of the students, not just the ones who are willing to speak out. So a lot of ways we can do it is very simple. Let's say you have a Google form set up at the end of class and you're looking over the main question of the day or maybe just asking for what questions they have. This allows them to easily put in their answers without others seeing what they're doing. Now, as you start to build up confidence, you can move on to something like maybe a Padlet. A Padlet works really well because students can be anonymous in this. They can just double click on the Padlet to add in the response. Students don't need to create an account, but they can easily add to it. And then you can have this way for students to be able to, during class, answer questions, give feedback. Uh, another thing you do is just have a back channel. There's a lot of different ways to do this. One way is even in Google Classroom, you can have a announcement posting and having students responding to that answering questions or posing their own questions and having students either respond to that. Now Padlet, they can be anonymous. You move them to Google Classroom. Now their names are associated with that. And so what you really have to look at here is that you're building community along the way. You don't jump right away having their name showing up. You gotta find those tools to build their confidence. Uh, there are other back channel tools out there like Today's Meet is one of the big ones that you're gonna see. And this can be used very well. You can even use social media, have a class hashtag and have them post the answers out there. And so you start with the anonymous, you move into with their names so that the discussions can be greater and they can be deeper. So there are a lot of ways that we engage all the learners and we have to make sure we're doing this because all students deserve the chance to learn.